Hey, welcome to Calvin's Got Game. I'm Calvin, and what I do here on this channel is I review board games. Uh, today I'm reviewing a game called Welcome to the Dungeon. Come in if you dare. This game here is uh, from Yellow Games. It's two to four players, ages 10 and up, takes about 30 minutes to play. Hang around and I'll lay it out for you, tell you how it plays, and I'll come back and tell you what I think. Okay, so here's what's in Welcome to the Dungeon. Welcome to the Dungeon comes with four heroes. You got your barbarian, your warrior, rogue, and your mage. It also comes with your rule book. Of course, everybody needs a rule book. Uh, it's a self-explanatory, it's pretty good, um, easy to teach, easy to learn game. Um, rules are written to be understood, there's no problems reading the rules. These, each person is going to get a card. They're going to get a card and once they go through a dungeon, if they succeed, they will get one of these. And once they get one of these, if they get two of these, they win. But if they die going through the dungeon, they flip their card over and now they're wounded. So the next time they go through the dungeon, if they don't make it, they're out of the game. So how do you go through the dungeon, you ask? Well, here is the dungeon cards. What's going to happen is each person will draw a card. This is the dragon and it says you have to have a cloak or this uh, sword looking thing. I'm not sure what it's called. Um, but you have to have that. This not in here. So if you put this in the dungeon, whoever is going to go through here is going to suffer 9 hit points. This barbarian only has 8, 9, 10, 11 hit points. So if he goes through here, now there are some special abilities that you can defeat a monster with strength of 3 or less, defeat the demon and the next monster. So if the demon's first and the next monster, oh this doesn't go in here, that goes to the mage. So defeat one monster after you draw it once in the dungeon, once per dungeon. So you could defeat this dragon even though you didn't have the, the cloak or the sword. So you could defeat that with the Vorpal Axe. Now you can only use it once so it will disappear. But let's say, let's say that you didn't want to put this into the dungeon. So you're going to put it in front of you and you're going to take away one of these things. So you take away the Vorpal Axe. So now it's the next person's turn. He picks up a card. This one is a little troll looking thing. He's, it can be destroyed by fire or the goblet, the torch. Well, he has a torch. And this torch says defeats monsters with uh, strength of three or less. He's three or less. So you want to put that in there. You're not going to take anything out. You continue to go. The next person goes. It's a four player game. He needs the war hammer. Guess what? The war hammer's in there. So it's a five. He's going to put that in a dungeon and move on. The next person. He's going to put this in here and he's going to say, um, yeah, we're going to put that in there. It's a little troll. Got the fire stick. It's a one. No problem. We're going to put it in the dungeon. So the first person now comes back around. He's got the little troll and he says, you know what? I'm going to keep that and I'm going to take the torch out. So now he's taking two things out. So the next person says, well, I'm passing. So the third player says, you got to have the cloak or this, the demon thing, which we saw a while ago, the demon pack, which we don't have. So we're going to put that in the dungeon. The fourth person now says, we've got a wizard. He's four. You got to have a chalice. There's no chalice. We're going to put that in there. So the first person says, I'm passing. He's already taken two things out. I'm passing. The third person says, I'm passing. Now it's the fourth person's turn to go through this dungeon. He takes these cards and he flips them over. These go out of the way and he's going to flip these over one by one. Can he beat this? Nope. He has nothing to beat it with. So he's going to lose four health points. There's four health points. Gone. Can he defeat this dragon? No. He has seven health points. He just died. Guess what? His card is going to get flipped from here to here. But in here there is a potion that says when you die come back to life with your adventure's health points. So guess what? He didn't die. So he's going to come back to life with just his health points. So we go back through the dungeon. Is there a torch? No. Now we're down to three life points. Is there a warhammer? Yes. We defeat this monster. 
Is there a torch or a goblet? No. Two hit points. He has one life left. So he won this dungeon. He would get a trophy. Guys, that's, that's welcome to the dungeon in a nutshell. I'll come back and tell you what I think about it in just a second. Okay, welcome to the dungeon. I like this game. I'm going to tell you now, I like this game. I think it's a, it, it's a bluffing game. This game is a subtle game of chicken. What you're doing is you're basically saying, I'm putting in stuff that I don't think you can beat, and I'm going to take something out of your armor or your equipment that's going to make sure you lose. But you can, you can turn it around by passing on your next turn and making that person go through the dungeon. Let's talk about the components a little bit. The components, these cards are pretty thick, man, and they're really nice. They have a nice gloss to them. I don't know if you can see the gloss. Uh, you probably can in this uh, cheap camera I have with, with the bad lighting. Uh, you might can see the gloss okay. But uh, they're good quality. They're just really uh, thick and nice, and, and I don't look for them to tear up anytime soon. Um, the cards are pretty good. I put them in sleeves because I like to sleeve my cards just so you don't know by bent corners or whatever what's coming up next. So I, I do sleeve my cards. Uh, you don't have to do that. That's just something I do. Um, all in all, I think this game is very fun. I do think any, any family would enjoy this game. If you like a bluffing game, that kind of style of game, this game is for you. Go check it out. Welcome to the Dungeon by Yellow. Uh, you can pick this up at Target, Barnes & Noble, um, Cool Stuff Inc., Miniature Market, and of course Walmart. Uh, this game here is a lot of fun. Go check it out. I think you'll enjoy it. Thanks for watching Calvin's Got Game, and please subscribe, share, like this video. Hey, give me a comment. Thanks for watching.